Good morning! Day two of Prezi's birthday weekend and we still have the car so we decided to get some bagels and coffee because it's one of Prezi's favorite breakfasts. And also happens to be one of our favorite places here in DC area, Bethesda. So we have the car all day and we're just gonna go with the flow and see what else we can do and maybe pick up wafts along the way. So right now we're still recovering from our Korean barbecue feast. So we need some coffee and we need some bagels to fuel up. And we're right here at Isa's Bagel Bakery. My gosh, this is this is really, really heavy. Here, okay, here, grab onto this. How many bagels do you think is in there? Feels like there's like 10 bagels in here. Oh my gosh. There's one. Oh my gosh. In my face for scale. Now, if you've been watching our videos, you know that the most common breakfast sandwich is egg, bacon, cheese, and egg, or sausage, egg, and cheese. <laughs> bacon, egg, and cheese, and sausage, egg, and cheese. But for me, instead of cheese, I replace it with cream cheese. Because you get that creamy, creaminess that adds. It mixes so well with the bagel and egg and everything. Oh baby, look at that. Whole wheat toasted everything. I don't know if you can see, but we're actually in a parking garage at Whole Foods. After we got these, we came over here to get some coffee. So I think the toastiness went away a little bit, but it feels good. How does the cross section look, eh? Nice. Yeah, and it's actually not that messy. I can hold it and grip it and squeeze it pretty well. So, smell test. Ah, oh, smells amazing. Okay. So, again, Try this sandwich, but don't get the cheese. Get the cream cheese, any cream cheese. I got the scallion cream cheese, but any cream cheese. Cake is a convert, right, KK? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it goes. Oh, that's legit. That's really, really good. The only thing I wish is that it was uh, toasted more, but look, the bagels are seasoned on both sides instead of one, and I'm, I'm tasting the everything seasoning really well. The eggs fluffy, sausage is great, cream cheese, fantastic, so. I got this. This is the uh, dark chocolate iced mocha from Whole Foods. Mocha is kind of like our favorite thing now. It's coffee, but a little bit of that sweetness. Oh yeah, nice and sweet, not too sweet. They use dark chocolate, which is clutch. So this, with this, is gonna be happy Preston. It's gonna be a good day. Put the cream cheese on. Them. All right, Kiki got her bagel. She's a little bit sad because she wanted cream cheese in her bagel, I'm just really and she got a cream cheese in a carton instead. I asked for. Cream cheese on one side and then honey mustard on the other side. Um, I don't have any cream cheese in here. That's a good looking sandwich though, okay? It is. What did you get? Turkey, bacon, tomatoes, lettuce? And, and sprouts. And bacon and sprouts on a whole wheat everything. Way healthier than mine. It's even really healthy because you don't have this, which is the cream cheese. I got the garlic herb. Cream cheese, how am I supposed to smear it on? Kiki sad. Oh my God. So my breakfast bagel, not the healthiest option, but if I get a bagel sandwich, this is what I usually opt for. I want the good old American breakfast. <sighs> now she's sighing. <laughs> Schmear. You happy now? Mm. Crisis averted. Okay. Mm. Ooh, that's a good looking sandwich. I feel like I said all that with bagel and, and turkey. <laughs> I didn't understand a single thing you said. I had a wah wah That first bite was just bagel and turkey, nothing else. Oh, okay. Um, this turkey is not my favorite turkey. Why? It's kind of gummy. Ooh. Noted, KK, noted. Oh, well, it's really good. That's really good, right? It's really good. All right, you're gonna finish your sandwich. I'm gonna finish my sandwich, but let's see if maybe we can find a hike or something or some fun outdoorsy thing to do before we go home. We're on the Cabin John Trail, not really sure 
the significance of this trail or how long it is. I think we read it's a little over three miles. It's beautiful. Good excuse to stretch our legs to uh, burn off the food. I mean, if there's a forested trail right in the middle of suburbia in Maryland, yeah, why not? Why not? So many bamboo trees up here. The coolest thing about this trail so far is on one side you have bamboo forest, on the other side you have creek. <laughs> Pretty cool. But other than that, relatively flat and easy going, right? Oh, whoa. There's a ditch. But ah, oh, so nice to be surrounded and nice nature all around us in the middle of the city. Onward. Krista's really liking these bamboo trees. We've been stopping almost every other 20 steps or so. It's so strong, the branches. Yeah. Ooh, here we go. What you doing? I'm gonna try a walking stick. You're making a walking stick? Is that sturdy enough for a walking stick though? Look how flimsy it is. Just let me take off the leaves. All right. All right, making progress. This is what most of our hikes consist of. KK finding sticks of branches and making makeshift oh. walking sticks. Oh, you just snapped the whole thing in half. Oh, no. oh my gosh, this, what is she doing? Oh my goodness. Oh. All right, so is this success? Oh dear. Okay. All right, not even half a mile in. I think we're already lost. I think we made a wrong turn because these signs behind her say private property. Not supposed to go there, okay? Oh man, at least you have a walking stick. I have a walking stick. Okay. Oh. All right, I believe this is where we made the wrong turn. The trail continues there. We went that way, and we're supposed to follow these white signs here. That is not clear at all. Yeah, I thought you meant go straight, then make a make a right. Yeah, don't, so don't, make an immediate don't go down that way. Go this way. Cross the river. Be careful. Well, it's a very, very simple trail so far, okay? We've been uh, seeing a good number of mountain bikers, mm -hmm. which really makes me want to get on a mountain bike. Looks like a fun trail. It does look like a fun trail for mountain biking. Yeah. Whole side, you got nice, nice creek. This is gorgeous. an hour so far 1.27 miles k what are your thoughts uh this is a really enjoyable hike we've got some good decent inclines declines variation of terrain mm -hmm. just like hearing the sound of the crickets and bugs and, and water. water we're wearing good old hiking boots but if you if you're wearing decent shoes and it's not too wet it certainly is enjoyable bamboo forest look at this yeah and if you like KK make sure you get your own makeshift walking stick <laughs> I only made it out of a bamboo tree that fell already yes we did it Kay yeah. we did it that's the final tally 38 minutes 1.55 miles awesome. so we turn around it's a nice three mile loop yeah all right let's head back in Super easy, quick trail, very enjoyable. You got a little bit of everything. You got trees, you got bamboo trees, you got water, you got dogs, you got bridges. In the middle, 
of Maryland here in DC. Oh no, in the middle of Maryland, right? Middle of the Bethesda, Cabin John, in Rockville area. Right, Bethesda, Cabin John, Rockville area. Should take us roughly about the same time to get back. Or faster. Or faster, but uh, this is a great. Let's go. See you in a bit. Okay, okay, final damage, 72 minutes, 2.98 miles, 200 calories. Woo, three miles, 200 calories. A little over an hour. Nice. We can always attempt next time to go across the road the other way. Yeah. And that trail goes all the way to North Bethesda. Cool. Where we got our bagels. Yeah, next time. Bye, stick. Woo. Pulled in here at Homestead Farms. We are not at home. We did a quick little detour to pick us some apples, experiencing our first orchard here in Northern Maryland. Uh, it is packed here on a Saturday afternoon, but I'm excited to get some good old crunchy apples and hopefully some fresh, sweet cider. But looking around with all these cars and people, I don't know, I hope there are some apples left for us. Good job, KK. We found a parking spot. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're like ants. The people look like ants here. All right, we need to get a bucket. Got one, okay? <laughs> All right, so we got a we got a we got a green apple bucket, but we can also get these barrels. So KK is running to get one. Did you get one? Yeah. Woohoo! God, the baby goat, a kid. So cute. Hey. Pig, pot, what are they called? Pot belly pigs. Pot belly pigs. Oh, that's his butt. They're kind of cute though, huh? They're so cute. Oh I just want to rub their bellies. Apples. Where are apples? Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my, his little horns are going in. Do you see the horns on his head? Yeah, I see them. <laughs> okay, we're here to get some apples. I know. <laughs> We're passing all these rows and rows of empty <laughs> apple trees because we keep seeing these signs. Pink lady, keep going. All right, we've been walking and walking and walking. All we have is nothing. There is hope. There is hope. The trees are so barren. There's nothing on them. Oh my God, we're in the last row and there is nothing here. Nothing. 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 What are we going to do, okay? We might just have to start picking up apples from the floor. <laughs> There's nothing. This situation is dire, folks. We just got here and there are no apples. What are we gonna do, Kay? What are we gonna do? Oh, apple! There's only one apple! You found one? Yeah, over there! Where? Where is it? It's rotten! Yeah. It's rotten! Oh man, we are far too late for opportunity I feel scammed. There's nothing here. Look at this. Did you find one? This is it? It's so tiny and it has one little worm thing in there. No, it's not good. I see them. I see them. See them? Wait, is this one good? That one's not bad. Oh, Keke, 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 here, here, here. Yes. You got some. All right. I got some. Oh my god. Yes! There she is, there she is, there she is. Did you get one? I got one here. Woo! Perfect. Amazing. Look! What do you see? Look! Ooh, there's a circle! Ah! KK is here trying to climb. And then right on top of her, all these amazing apples. Look at this. KK, okay, be careful. Oh my gosh, where's she going? <laughs> 
Did you get it? Yeah. Come here, come here, come out, come out, come out, come out. Let me see, let me see. Let me see. Oh my gosh. I dented it on the way down. Let me see. Aww. Look how much you got. There's another strategy you can do to get the high one. Is you throw a dud apple. A dud apple of these? To get a good apple. To get a good and apple. Somebody has to be underneath to catch it. It's shaking. Oh, oh it fell. I got I got it. <laughs> yes. Oh, wait. Oh, it didn't. Oh. Oh. That's the thing. You have to be able to catch them. It works okay. Oh, it works. Can you reach it? Yeah. Okay, ready? Here goes nothing. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Woo! Nice. There's one. One second. Two. Let me put it in. Hello. Awesome! Beautiful! Yeah! Boom, baby! Yay! Woo! Alright, I would... I thought there was no hope, but success. <gasps> this was the most physically intensive apple orchard trip I've ever done. But look, 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 look. Whoa. Babies, we got some. We got like a quarter tub, a quarter bucket. <laughs> Not even, and you had to climb. I had to climb, you had to climb to the very top. I think you definitely want to visit though. It's beautiful, it's this a, farm is gorgeous. It's a beautiful farm. It's actually, it's actually nice, it's huge and there's no people around us as you can see. And there's also no apples around us as well. We basically paid two dollars per person to not be near any people. Crunchy, sweet, and a little sour. Now we have nine apples left. <laughs> mm, oh god. Wow, I'm famished after climbing up the trees. Yeah, it was quite a workout. It was quite a workout. Let's go see if we can get some donuts oh, or yeah. other goodies, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're actually feeling pretty good about ourselves. <laughs> and we're, we're, we're walking towards the entrance until, until we saw like these five-year-old kids carrying a bucket full with apples and we were content with our nine apples so we're actually gonna dig a little deeper put a little bit more effort into our search and hopefully find a couple more right just just a couple oh, more yeah. a couple more please just a couple more apple apple orchard gods please 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 <laughs> did you find more <laughs> she's running cake is running Oh my god! Oh my god, there are apples everywhere. Oh my god, oh my god, I see apples everywhere. Holy crap. Oh my god, we we found them on the load. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That is a proper size apple. Oh my god, look there's apples everywhere. Oh my god, okay, we gotta pick all of these, okay? Quick, 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 quick. Alright, put in the camera now. I'm gonna get we're getting busy. Getting busy. Cake is already on the hunt. There she is, there she is, there she is. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Amazing. Oh, he's got a spider in it. Sorry. No spider, no spider, no spider. Can't do it. Beautiful. Get it, get it, get it. Beautiful. Yes, those are perfect. Uh, Jackpot, KK. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Perfect apple picked by Preston Park. Pow, 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 pow. He said, How did he even get up there? He's okay. a jumper. Yes, apple cider. Are you okay? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming. Yay! It's uh, 24 bucks. 12 pounds. Okay. Oh, look at that! This is 12 pounds of apples. So we got uh, roughly 30 apples. And two apple ciders. And then one pumpkin. For about 34, 35 bucks. Mm -hmm. Not too shabby. Not bad. The only thing that made this better is donuts. Yeah. For next time, but this is a really cool place. This 
day just keeps on getting better. So after we finished the orchard, driving back, we saw this uh, winery called... Rocklands Farm. Rockland Farm winery. winery. And it was packed. Cars are going in, cars are going out. We pulled in. We thought there was a concert here. But then we started seeing all these people. And then we discovered what the whole commotion was about. People just come to this winery, bring their own picnic baskets, bring their own chairs, their own blankets, and they just sit on the lawn, purchase the wine, and drink it. It's amazing. That's it. You can come here with family or friends, bring snacks, bring meals, bring a blanket, buy a bottle of wine or two or three, sit down, and then just enjoy. And you can sit anywhere on the lawn you want to, and it's the coolest thing ever. Like, we've never seen it in New York before. And then if you haven't brought your own food, you can go to the store, purchase some cheese, some crackers, some chips, or they also have food vendors on premise. So there's a pizza place yeah. and an Argentinian steakhouse. And we got a little, we worked up an appetite from the orchard. So walking out cake is, I'm getting a little hungry, and I'm like, you know what? I'm thinking about food. The more I think about food, I'm getting hungry now. The pizza, they were running out of ingredients, so we opted for the half combo plate at the Argentinian Steakhouse. We went to the El Gauchito. El Gauchito. Oh, nice. You are the man, thank you. <laughs> and we got the combo plate, so we got a little bit of chorizo and a little bit of steak. We haven't had Argentinian steak in a long time. I don't, have we ever had Argentinian steak? I don't think we've ever had Argentinian steak. I had Brazilian steak. Oh, you're right, I had Brazilian steak too, no, but that was years ago. Yes. We got the half combo platter. And the green sauce this is the, the chimichurri. chimichurri. Oh my god, it looks incredible. Why are you, me? God, I got the steak. Why are you getting me? <laughs> Look at that. Oh yeah. So this is a small flank. Oh man. Mmm. Perfect grilled barbecue flavor. It's tender, but because it's the exterior, it's a little bit tough on the outside. Okay. But the interior is soft. That flavor is so good. That flame, grilled. Oh. I mean, it smells amazing. Can I try? Mm -hmm. That chimichurri sauce is yeah, out of this world. That's really good. I don't like cutting on aluminum Phillips makes so much noise. It's so juicy. You have to suck it. <laughs> Let me cut you a little chorizo. Oh, man. Oh man, that is so good. Try it. Wow. That is so good. That is the best chorizo I've ever had. So tender. It's so tender. And juicy. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's way too big. That's not big. That's really big. There we go. The steak is good, but the sausage is so much softer and more tender. Mm -hmm. I want to eat more of the sausage, but the steak, the flavor is fantastic though. Mm -hmm. Nothing like eating straight up meat. <laughs> Last piece. Mmm. Mmm. so good. Mm. What a cool place. Rockland Winery and Farms. Gonna come back next time, but do the whole experience. Get some wine, get some food, crackers and cheese. They also have some cheese there. They sell huge pieces of chicken and beef as well. They sell a bit of everything. Mm -hmm. but we'll head home and enjoy mm. a bottle of this. Can't wait. We are all showered up here. We're about to try this for the first time. Rockland Farm Winery. It's going up. It's going up. It's going up. That should be good. Okay. And then, let's go. Slowly nudge it open. So this is the white wine, right? They told us that they, they kept the skins on, on the grapes as they mashed them. And they 
keep it in the barrel for three, four days? Or is it three, four hours? Ooh, I don't remember which time duration. But anyways, by keeping the skins on, it elicits and creates this beautiful color. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's dry. But it tastes like lemons. Ooh. A lemonade. And they said here at Rockland Farms Winery, all of the grapes are from the Maryland region. So it's local to this area. Gotta support. Gotta support. My turn. <laughs> that is nice. That is nice, Kay. Yeah, it is. It's, it's dry, but it has like a good amount of sweetness in it too. And I can, a lot of the fruity notes are coming out. But it's not cloyingly sweet. Mm -hmm. The fruit flavor without there being like an absorbent amount of sugar. Yes, I agree. This is fantastic. Rockland Farms, good job. This alone, great. But this could also be paired well with this. This is what I've been waiting for. This is Chris's famous apple crumble using Midland's own finest local. Apples that we just picked a couple hours earlier. That's not. <laughs> He's excited too. Is he licking his lips? No. <laughs> oh yeah. So this is what an apple looks like, and. Uh, <laughs> yes, this is what an apple looks like. <laughs> <laughs> this is an apple. Um, no, honestly, the orchard was such a good experience. Uh, in the beginning, we thought we were being scammed because we walked far and wide and couldn't find a single apple, and then we started finding. Slowly, one, two, three, four. I think we finished with nine. And as we're walking out, little boys led us to the gold mine. Anyway, enough about the orchard. I am ready to tuck into this. Look at this. Look, can we, look how beautiful that looks. My favorite way, our favorite way of eating this is big bite of this with this from Trader Joe's. Honestly, we love Trader Joe's, but one of the best, one of the best products that you can find Trader Joe's is this coconut whipped. Topping. Oh my god, it's so good. And this with that goes so well together. So I'm not gonna wait to get a dish. I'm actually gonna grab a spoon right here. I'm just gonna stab it in there, get a big mouthful, and put a heaping dollop of whipped cream on it. The great thing about Cake is Crumble is she doesn't, does not skimp on the layer of crumble on top. Look at that. I mean, it's so much crumble. I, can't even, I can't even see the apple. <laughs> But you know, you know, the crumble's the best part. Oh, baby. Cheers. Oh, man. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. I'm so good, Kay. I'm glad you enjoy it. I'll tell you why real quick. So, the apples have a nice tartness to it, but then, Balance it out with the sweetness of the crumble layer. And you know what else she used? Not just maple, regular maple syrup, bourbon maple syrup. So you got that sweetness and the hit of the bourbon at the end. And then you finish it off with the extra layer of creaminess and sweetness on top with this all together. It is amazing. This, this has truly been such an amazing day. We've done so many fun things today. This is after we went crazy fast in Lamborghinis and Porsche yesterday. I mean, anyone would be happy to call it end of a day, end of a weekend, end of a birthday, but this concludes part two of my birthday weekend. Blessed to celebrate with KK, with Wasps, people that mean, my, my boy that means the most to me. There could be, KK says there could be a part three to the birthday weekend. Uh, I'm not so sure. I mean, this is, uh, this is honestly one of the best ways to end it, but I'm grateful for everything, having a great time so far. We've got a lot of fun and new things today. And uh, just excited and chill. Finish this, drink some wine, spend some good time. I'll see you tomorrow.